On the 23rd of December 2022, a very powerful and deadly storm was to hit the Great Lakes of North America. Nearly two weeks prior to the storm, amateur meteorologists were predicting a massive winter storm at Christmas. And as we got to about five days before the storm, the mainstream media outlets were now talking about this massive storm. The worst hit areas would be the east side of Lake Erie, especially Buffalo in upstate New York, and then just across the Niagara River, the town of Fort Erie and its communities of Ridgeway and Crystal Beach. Winter Storm Elliot was upon us. The blizzard of a generation, a bomb cyclone. At just after 9 a.m. on Friday the 23rd of December, the storm came rolling in. This is my first-hand account of what happened around Ridgeway and Crystal Beach during the 60-hour blizzard. Millions of people are about to experience the coldest Christmas of their life. Blizzard is expected to hit parts of the Niagara region. Severe winter weather is a huge winter storm. Is Bombogenesis. It'll become a bomb cyclone, freezing anything that's falling beforehand in terms of rain. So flash freeze is a big issue. But making the coldest Christmas in four decades. Meteorologists are calling it a once in a generation weather event. Millions of people in the US and Canada are still spending their Christmas holidays in the grip of a severe winter storm. Well, officially a bomb cyclone. Buffalo battered with a historic blizzard. It's third day of a state of emergency. Due to the dig outs in this dangerous winter storm will take days in part because where we are it's still snowing. I'm in Crystal Beach in the Niagara region and going to show you the storm's impact. I'm not sure the QEW is closed. Um, Niagara bound from Fort Erie. I've been on it for five minutes now and I've not seen one car come the opposite direction. Welcome to Sodom Road. This is the most notorious stretch of road I know in the whole region. I'm um, doing 25 kilometers an hour. I'm in an 80 zone. And the wind just whips that snow off right off the fields and blows it right across into the next field. Just approaching Netherby. And power is out. I was wondering why it's uh, really weird around here. It's usually some things lit up. Um, but never be road. The traffic lights are completely out. Um, the store over there is blacked out. Everything's blacked out. It is uh, a power outage as I drive into uh, the area. And it really throws you off when you're driving. Try and figure out where you are. But you're so used to the, the markings uh, by the side of the road of uh, houses and whatnot. And now i'm just having to guess is this the gas station coming up nope i'm nowhere near the gas station <laughs> i thought it was a gas station okay i don't know where i am ah! this is my first time ever driving in a blizzard i've driven in blizzard like conditions but blizzard like conditions aren't the same as a blizzard because a blizzard doesn't let uh, doesn't let up where the hell did that car go in front of me holy moly i can't see jeez Oh, I think I'm near the end of the road. Oh, there we go. Over that way, over that way, over that way. Wow. There's a bend in the road there. That is insane. This is like the worst I've ever driven in. Ever. Can't see a thing. Uh, in Ridgeway, we've got power cables down on the ground. Trees down. Uh, what a mess. We can't get through the road here. Wow. This is uh, really bad. So I'm in Crystal Beach and everywhere I go, the roads are closed, power lines are down. Um, what else can I tell you? Trees are down. Now I've just looked, you can see the power's out. The cellular, the cellular service is out as well. We have nothing. Uh, I can't get in touch with anybody. I'm just crawling along. I just dropped some guy off called Gary, uh, who I picked up off the street. Uh, just uh, by the new gas station on, on uh, Gorham Road and Highway 3 there. Uh, his car was in the, his truck was in the ditch. He was like stranded and so a few people had, had passed him he said and I was the first person to stop. I mean I couldn't leave him there could I? So anyway this is uh, downtown Crystal Beach. Look at it. This is insane. I got no way of getting in touch with the family let them know where I am what's going on. We are power out. 
<laughs> that alarm you can hear, that's my sensor on my uh, front of my truck, he's all blocked. Got a search and rescue going on right now. Some guy approached his son, 13 years old, ran out to find his dog and hasn't come back in the Crystal Beach area. I can't even get a message out to people because all the power's down, the phones are out and everything. You have no idea where you are. I'm actually using my GPS on my car to guide me around for where each turn is because I can't see where I'm going. Gee, you got in there pretty good. Bloody hell. Let's see if he's alright. Don't think there's anyone in it. Anyone? No. Don't see anyone. Another one in the ditch. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of cars. I mean, I saw about 10 cars on the way home. Um, just on Southern Road alone. It makes it more creepy being in pitch black around here. And you just hear the wind through the trees. I'm not seeing any cars driving around, so let's hope whoever he is has made it home. All right, I'm just down by, I won't say down by, but I'm pretty close to where the beach would be, uh, the main entrance. A lot of snow here. Truck's really uh, fighting it. Uh, the parking lot's just up on my right. Ooh, hold on tight, the wind's really gonna pick up here. Wow, listen to that. It's 8.45 Friday night. You can hear that wind right now. Wow. It is, um, it's insane. Uh, I've lived in Canada now for uh, 23 years and I never ever experienced anything like this in my entire life. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. You hear about these stories and these kind of weather phenomena that happen quite often in different places uh, in North America, uh, but I've never endured one myself. Um, I've been in blizzard-like conditions before but not in a full bone blizzard it's it, it's treacherous it's 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 the creepiest and scariest thing all at the same time and there isn't much to look at really and the sound it makes is very very creepy um but one of the things i'm out for right now is i have an opportunity to help others who may be stuck i do have a four by four uh, i am dressed for winter i do have the right gear on and if anyone's stuck and needs help, I'm going to be prepared to just give them a ride around the corner to their house if need be. Uh, that's the right thing to do. Uh, not everyone is in that position to do that. So that's one of the reasons why I'm driving around. Uh, yeah, making a vlog, but at the same time, there isn't much of a vlog I can make. You can't see anything. All I'm showing you is the road. Uh, but what I'll do in the morning, in the daytime, then I'll show you what's been happening. But for the meantime, we're just going to be driving around and uh, yeah, see what the headlights show. And if, anyone, if we come across anyone stuck in a ditch, we'll try and give them a hand. Oh, Tim Horton's in the dark. Look at that. So it's currently minus 10 down here. Uh, the winds are still gusting way over 100, maybe 120 at times. Um, when I was just around the corner, my truck was like really rocking. Uh, a little bit here where Tim Horton's is, I feel a bit more protected. Um, saw a couple of people walking, having a little chat, enjoying the fresh air, which I thought was quite funny. Uh, but I'm the only idiot right here, out here right now. So anyway, I'm going to drive around a little bit longer, then head in. Alright, we have a tree down here, blocking the whole road. I think there's a little path just to the left I might be able to squeeze by. Let's try and get past it. Oh, visibility's completely gone. Alright, there's a gap right there. All right, just lost my gap. Wait for that a minute. All right, let's go. Yep, there we go. All right, downtown Ridgeway. 
power is out here as well in the downtown area um, where am I? I'm trying to get my bearings what do I recognise? <laughs> I don't recognise much oh, I recognise that building, okay for those that live down here you can play the game, where are we? <laughs> what do you recognise? snow's very deep here about a foot deep. It was really holding me back. Oh, my God, look at these drifts. Look at those drifts. Holy moly. Look at that. Those are drifts. two hours ago coming home from work and uh, no one's been here yet to sort it out no police but yeah there's your power line right down big tree on the ground let's make sure no one's in it anyone in it anyone in it Tree down. People have got around it, so we can go around. So just in front of me, just a little bit, right there. There's a power line right down. See, going right across the road. I think it's on top of that car. What a mess. All right, downtown Ridgeway. Look at the size of these drifts. Huge. Now they're right up to the top of the windows nearly. Kind of amazing sight to see all this big snow drifts like this. Uh, something I'm not used to seeing. My first proper blizzard. It's wild. Bogios completely snowed in as well. Brody's up there. Very creepy. Very creepy down here. In the last little while, um, the snow is well, it snowed a lot more, um, but it's now drifting. There's like really big drift due to the blizzard, and the snow is just piling up. And I've been through a couple of areas where it's like two feet on the ground. Right here is a good foot, maybe a foot and a half on the right. There's another foot and a half on the left. Camera doesn't do it much justice, um, but these are deep tracks. I mean, this is probably the clearest I've had it for quite a while. Look at that. How long will that last for? I can see right down the bottom of the road right now. Did the wind just die off momentarily? Or it comes again. And it's back. <laughs> the blink of an eye. Big snow drift there. I'll try and oh, I'll get through that. Four. 
<laughs> that was deep. So we're downtown Crystal Beach. Slightly uh, different looking Crystal Beach right now. But being so dark and it's like a ghost town. Right in front of me is the uh, ramp to take you up to the uh, waterfront, but they've closed it off, and rightfully so, because it'd be dangerous up there. Uh, all that lake spray has got everything frozen, so it's going to be interesting to see that tomorrow morning. Sheesh, and they drove right into that. Power line down right here. Went right across the road in front of me. Tree down just over there. The flashlight. So the power line from that one has come all the way down. That right off, come right down, right across the road. Tree over there completely snapped. Wow, let's get out of here. So, this is the uh, same thing here. So, this is all uh, come down, all the wires way up there. cables down here as well because of that tree I think Crystal Beach is gonna be without power for a few days <laughs> oof those poor buggers I think their Christmas is ruined I just hope everyone's okay though anything oh my god the wind's been howling all night uh, power went out and uh, our windows <laughs> it's uh, pretty nasty out this is my only heat this morning gee It's freezing cold. The only thing we have in the gas stove, and we do have a gas fireplace downstairs, so before we turn the gas fireplace on, I'm gonna go out there and uh, make sure the vent is not blocked by a snowdrift. So, I'll take you with me. Oh, it's wheel up. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> That's a big drift. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to my knees. <laughs> yeah, <yep. laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> this is our front door right now. Uh, it's caked. Welcome to the blizzard of 2022. The snow quite high up against the door here. Uh, dogs just tr trying to get out quickly. Uh, piles of snow on the roof over there, which is quite worrying. Uh, the house is getting cold really quick. I just got to come around here and check the uh, air vent for the gas fireplace. Uh, that's clear that we can turn the gas fire on and at least we have some form of heat but this is a very critical situation throughout the whole of Ridgeway and Crystal Beach no power blizzard no one's repairing this stuff until the winds die down it's going to be a long 24 48 hours still to come oh we've got ice all over it so break that off if I can oh it's good it's, uh, I can see right through it okay we're good This truly is wild out here. Scary, in fact. I can't even see down my road either way. At the time, I can't even see across the street. I see one of my neighbors is up, scraping his car off. We'll go and check him out, make sure he's all right. That man is Mr. Winter. You going to Port Coburn? Yeah. What for? You gotta go to work. Oh, you gotta go work, that's right. Morning, Mr. Glover. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. 
nuts out here. Oh, it is bad. You got a generator though, right? Yeah, you're lucky. He has a generator, we don't. So this guy's got to go to work today. Essential worker. Well, have a safe day, Chris. I will. All right. I'm going to put you on my video now. <laughs> uh oh. Dog in the ditch. <laughs> it's a bit deep down there. Uh, generator going over here. They're lucky. Oh, look at these guys. Their house is completely plowed in. Oh my God. Look at this. I'm not going to walk up any further. I've got the dog. Let's walk back down. We'll check on the elderly people later on. Uh, make sure they're okay. Come on, Muffin. All right, we got a uh, pot of water on right now. Gonna make a cup of tea. And uh, get inside, shut the door quick, try and keep as much heat in as we can. We will have to be concerned about the refrigerator before long. Freezer, we're not too worried about because the freezer, we can just empty its contents if need be, just throw it on the deck. Because it's just gonna be out in the snow where it's zero anyway. Uh, but the fridge, we have to be careful with that. Uh, I'll check on my other neighbors there later. Just show you some of the drifts we're getting here. Yeah, look, I parked this last night, what, 10, 10.30? See one of the kids' cars. Um, the snow drift there at the side of the house is like four and a half feet, uh, where it's just blown up right against the house. The roof, that's a lot of snow on my roof there. Concerned about that. Gee, what a mess. Good and buried. Yeah, it is. Dominion Road. Saturday mid morning, still in the blizzard. Oh, there's a car coming. <laughs> Down the right side of the road, I guess. Minus 11. I'm gonna try and get into Fort Erie, get some fuel. Hey, look at this, check this out. One tree down, two tree down, three tree down. There's four, four trees down on one property. Yeah, four, there's a fourth one just over there. This is uh, Stone Mill Road, heading up to Highway 3. Oh, now we can't see a thing. I presume no one's going. Oh my God. Here, let's go for it. Oh, big, big snow bank right there where he drifted in. On the way into Fort Erie, we have a snow plow in the ditch. He's stuck. He's gone off the road. Uh, wide out conditions here. We're just crawling along, but some people don't understand what crawling along means, but he's in a ditch. We don't know how deep this snow is here. We're driving blind now. Just wait for the, uh, just wait for that wind to just ease off a second. But yeah, he's stuck. Uh, down at the uh, gas station Petro Canada, uh, found a place that's open. Pumps are frozen now. These pumps are both frozen. So we're having to use these and everyone's filling up the uh, jerry cans getting ready and for generators and stuff so just in a line waiting to get to cold enough for you oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah nice one <laughs> so you gotta keep in good spirits <sighs> all right still trying to get into fort erie car in the ditch buried completely got a pickup truck stuck over here and also uh, a taxi which of course uh, we've, got a truck, we've got a truck here trying to pull people out. There's more cars stuck way down there. There's like a load of cars. Uh, basically, uh, the way to Fort Erie is completely blocked. Um, I'm not going to try any further. I'm probably going to turn around and head back because uh, it's definitely worse down this way. All right, check this out, folks. This is Tim Hortons on uh, Highway 3. Uh, this caught our eye. This. Look at this. This massive snowbank. Uh, that's going to take a while. You can't plow that out. That's going to have to be dug out uh, with a machine of some type. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Tim Hortons in Fort Erie right now. This brings a whole new meaning to driving home for Christmas. Oh, the Canada, they said. Oh, the, these like oh the power's on here. 
Is it? Yeah, the flash, the traffic lights are flashing. Ooh, that's a good sign. Uh, I, mean, I don't think it's gonna help the broken. <laughs> I I there's nothing coming because I can't see. Uh, I see nothing but white over there. Right, right. I, I see nothing but white in front. So that's just top of our road. It's just been literally left hanging. Look at that. What a mess. I was down here last night and uh, <laughs> you can see it better now. It's daytime. Check it out. Super sized drifts. Uh, no one's going there for food for a while. We're right up to the window now. And zero visibility into the town. You can just about see it, but that car is like, oh, it's gone again. It's 15 feet in front of me. Oh, no, it's back. Then it'll just disappear. Oh, it's going again. <laughs> That's how bizarre it is. We nearly rear-ended this. <laughs> All right, out here rescuing people. Taking these guys home uh, the old style. They're going to crash down in the box and take them right down the town. From Saskatchewan, you think I was tough, not quite. <laughs> Lake Erie stuff's crazy. Guys. Here we go, we're taking them home. Hold on. <laughs> Cheers, guys, all the best. Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate it. No worries. Cheers, Merry Christmas please. to you. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. See ya. Uh, another tree right across the road. Completely uprooted. In fact, it's two trees. I can see two roots there. So two trees have come down, resting on the power lines. Um, it's hard to get around here. Virtually every road we turn into, uh, there's a tree down. There's going to be a huge cleanup operation happening here over the next few days. I'm at Crystal Beach on the waterfront. But if I step out, as you can tell by my face, it's bright red. It is nasty here. So I was going to turn the camera around so you can see. I'm shocked. That is Crystal Beach. That is the beach right there. Oh, try and get my gloves back on. Hang on. Hold on tight. That is the beach. It's completely frozen over. Uh, the water, I can see water in the distance. Probably about, when the snow stops blowing, it's about 400 meters away. There's a little bird over there trying to fly around. Oh no, something's stuck in the ice. But yeah, this is Crystal Beach right now. It's more like a, a lunar landscape. It's probably the best way to describe this. Outside, big ice everywhere. Uh, this is li literally probably the worst Christmas ever for the people that live here in Crystal Beach and Ridgeway and many parts of Fort Erie. Uh, it's hard to imagine, hard to express how dangerous and how cold and how nasty it has been for the last 24 hours. Uh, never seen, witnessed or been anything like this in my entire life. It's uh, unbelievable. I think I may have a bit of frostbite. That really hurt. Erie and Westwood. This house got lucky, but it took the fence out, but it just missed the house. Uh, more trees back down over here. Uh, cable down. Uh, we think this is the uh, utility for our electric. It's actually a retention cable. You see the hook up there, so it's a retention cable. It also hangs down here, so it's not a power line directly here. These guys are stuck. Uh, another tree down here. Uh, one hanging on the power cable. That's dangerous, but the power's dead right now. So, uh, yeah, it's just, okay, just hanging in the balance. Right, just down there is Point Avenue Road. I was trying to get down there, but as soon as we were around the corner, it's just very deep drifts. So we're not going to try and go that way. Uh, but just here, trees completely down. Trees uprooted here. This one's on its way going. Just, it's on getting on the property. It looks like no damage. Thunder Bay Road between Burley and Bernard. Tree right down across the road, leaning on the power lines. It's uh, 9.30 Christmas Eve. It's still snowing. In fact, it's getting worse again. It's like, we can't even see across the road anymore. I'll just show you. It's just, there's a house. It's like, it's just pitch black everywhere. I'll just go over here. It's just a road. Um, knee deep places. Look at that. Uh, Christmas day. Time is it? Oh, 11 o'clock. Been out trying to do the driveway. I gave up. It's just, it's all packed. Even the snowblower won't get through because it it's being packed down everyone walking around. So, Christmas Day, very quiet here. Try and keep warm. We've got the candles going, got the stove going. The kitchen's a mess, but what do you expect? Uh, got a bit of oatmeal on the go here. 
Uh, all the fridge stuff is out here. The freezer stuff's in the bag. We've got more freezer stuff downstairs. We've got more stuff in the garage. All right, we're just uh, going to do a fuel run for everyone. Like I was saying earlier on, everyone's uh, running low on fuel. I got the four by four. Okay, we'll load it with a load of jerry cans, throw them all in the back, and uh, we'll be on our way. I gotta go and get the big one as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and my big one to go in as well. So, yeah. That sky. Mother Nature may not be done with us yet. See right over the lake. That's still bringing out, that's a snow squall line. We're at the uh, Garrison Road Highway 3, Fort Erie. The only gas station open Christmas Day is the Pioneer here. We've got a bit of a lineup, which is not too bad though. I uh, just filled up all the jerry cans for all the, uh, my uh, like three neighbours running low on fuel for their generators. So I just done that, make sure they're all okay. And uh, we're going to head home. I'm going to quickly check my uh, Twitter feed and stuff because there's no internet, no cell service where I live. So while I've got a few minutes, I'm just going to go and check a few things now. 